Welcome back everyone. I'm so excited to be here with all of you today. We have tons of games, activities, and challenges for you and your family. And today is Friday, and what's better than spending Friday with your family at home during camp? Now before I begin, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Sarah, and this would have been my third year going to Surf and River. Some of my fondest memories from Surf and River would for sure be seeing the kids at camp every day and attending the powwow. I even still have the friendship bracelet that I made from last year with some of the kids, just as a reminder of all the amazing people that I met at Surf and River, and just to keep all those people close to my heart throughout the year. Well, here today I have my mom. <laughs> What's your name, mom? <laughs> <laughs> Joanne. What is one quality in a person that you think is really important? Well, being a teacher, definitely being respectful and kind to others. And what are some ways that you show kindness or respect to others? Well, I think I'm one of those that is task orientated. So just like there's five languages of love, uh, that we, how we can communicate with each other, um, mine would be task orientated. So I like to do things for others. And actually it's interesting, Sarah came home yesterday from camp and that's what she experienced. She said that it was a really challenging day and she was really tired from the week. And one of the counselors bought her uh, coffee and candy. And she was- the most important things. Oh, okay. it was unexpected and it made her day. And the funny thing is I'm teaching summer school and Friday afternoon, I see a Starbucks gift card on my uh, email for five dollars and i'm thinking oh who sent me that and the, it was the principal and i just thought just to say you're doing a great job and i was like oh that made my day and today i'm actually going to use it <laughs> so oh. you can how does how does your mom show kindness oh, oh. <laughs> um how do you show kindness to me <laughs> 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 i was gonna say getting me candy um oh, definitely i do that you show kindness to me. Remember all the years of driving? <laughs> Everywhere. I think I probably put on 300,000 kilometers <laughs> driving Sarah around to every appointment she has had. Yeah, so my mom has shown kindness to me for sure by driving me to literally everything. Um, but for sure all my skating practices as I grew up and um, yeah, the amount of commitment that was was a lot. That was a big thing. Wow. I love that. Well, I'm your biggest fan. Thank you. Thank you. Well, now it's your turn. Feel free to share photos with your family about ways that you can show kindness or just some fun activities that you were doing. And you can use the hashtag DocsAdayStar or you can tag your post using at DocsAdayStar. Now for today's story, we have a story about Johnny's pheasant. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Daystar's Corner. We hope you guys are liking the story so far because I know we are. My name is Sarah, and I'm so happy to be joining you for day five of camp. Today's story is about Johnny's pheasant. Do you know what a pheasant is? Cause I sure don't. I guess I'm about to find out. Now, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, go! Johnny's pheasant. Johnny and grandma were on their way home from the grand market with a sack of potatoes, a package of carrots, a bundle of fresh fruit, and frosted cinnamon rolls. Pull over, Grandma. Hurry, said Johnny. What did you see? asked Grandma. Come on, I'll show you, said Johnny. Johnny led Grandma to a small feathery hump near the ditch. It's a sleeping pheasant, said Johnny. Oh my, said Grandma. Can I keep him? asked Johnny. Grandma gently nudged the small pheasant with her foot. He's still soft, said Grandma. Let's bring him home. I will make a nest in the yard and feed him carrots, said Johnny. Grandma put her hands on his shoulder. I'm sorry, Johnny. I think he may have been hit by a car, but I can sure use his feathers for my craft work, said Grandma. Silly Grandma, he's not ready for craft work. He's sleeping. Let's put him in the trunk, said Johnny. Grandma emptied a paper bag and put the pheasant in the trunk. He's still warm, said Grandma. Hoot hoot, said Johnny. Hoot hoot, asked Grandma. Yes, hoot hoot, said Johnny. 
When Grandma pulled into the driveway, Johnny unbuckled his seatbelt and bolted out the door. He leaped over the spring puddle, hoot, 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 and disappeared into the house. Johnny rushed out with a box. Here's his bed until I gather sticks, said Johnny. Can we bring him inside? Okay, said Grandma, just for a little while. When the pheasant was on the table and Grandma was on the couch playing cards, Johnny opened the door. Okay, I'm off to get sticks. Hoot hoot, said the pheasant. Johnny spun around. The pheasant shook its feathers and swooped up. Its wings nicked the walls and it circled the living room and then landed right on top of Grandma's head. The pheasant's tail swayed from side to side in front of Grandma's face. I guess he was only knocked out, said Grandma. Hoot hoot, said Johnny. The pheasant sprang from Grandma's head and flew out the door. Hoot hoot, there goes the pheasant, said Johnny. Pheasants belong in the wild, said Grandma. No, he heard you talking about using him for crafts and that's why he went away, said Johnny. Hoot hoot, said the pheasant. Johnny and Grandma stepped out the door and saw the pheasant perched on the swing set. Hoot hoot, said Johnny. The pheasant fluttered its wings and flew away. Grandma, look, said Johnny. A single feather zigged and zagged to Johnny's feet. He picked it up and spread his arms. Through the yard, Johnny zigged and zagged, zigged and zagged, and stopped right in front of Grandma. He fluttered his arms down to his side and gave the feather to Grandma. Hawa, said Grandma. Hoot hoot, said Johnny. The end. That was a pretty funny book. I guess a pheasant is just like a medium sized bird. Can you imagine if a pheasant came and landed on your head? That would feel kind of heavy. Johnny showed love and respect to the pheasant when he took the pheasant home to take care of him because he knew that it wasn't dead. Those are two of the grandfather teachings, love and respect. It's important for us to respect all living things. This can also help us understand the fruit of the spirit we are learning about today, kindness. Being kind is a character trait, meaning it's something to describe our personality and who we are. When we are kind, we treat people and all living things with love, respect, and humility because we know that they are important and have value. How did Johnny show kindness to the pheasant? You're right. Our Bible verse for today is from Luke 6 verse 31. Do for other people what you would want them to do for you. This is a great verse to remember because we know that we all like to be treated with respect and love and kindness. If we can remember to treat others the same way that we want to be treated, then we will be living a way that is pleasing to our Creator. We can show kindness to others by lending a helping hand and helping others and caring for them, like Johnny did for the pheasant. Other ways that we can show kindness are by complimenting people and using nice words. We can say, hey editor, you're doing a really good job. Thanks for taking time to edit this video. Think about something you can do today to show kindness to someone. Well, that's all for today on Daystar's Corner. Tune in tomorrow for the next, oh wait, it's the weekend. Well then, tune in on Monday to see one of our Daystar leaders again. They'll have another great story for you. Now, on to Tammy for a colorful art activity. Hello, my friends of Serpent River. My name is Tammy, and today I will be showing you how to make ice cream sandwiches and ice cream sundaes. For the ice cream sandwich, you are going to need the following materials any colored pieces of construction paper, craft glue, scissors, a pencil, crayon, marker, or anything to draw on the ice cream sandwich to make its face, and googly eyes. But if you do not have any googly eyes handy, you can always cut out the eyes using the construction paper. And this is how it would look like when it's finished. First, cut a rectangle of cream colored construction paper the size you want your ice cream sandwich to be. Then, using the rectangle as your guide, cut out the chocolate and strawberry ice cream sections and glue these two pieces onto the end of the colored rectangle. Just like this. Now, 
Then you will need to cut out two long thin brown strips and glue them along the top and bottom of your ice cream sandwich. Just like this. Apply the glue. And stick it onto the top and the bottom of your ice cream sandwich. After, you can put on any decorations like eyes or any other things that you would like to put on your ice cream sandwich. Right now, I am applying some googly eyes onto my ice cream sandwich. And there you have it, your ice cream sandwich. Now for the ice cream sundae, you will need similar materials which include colored paper, construction paper, scissors, craft glue, and wax paper. If you don't have wax paper like me, you can use a simple marker, pencil, crayon, anything to basically draw on your cup once you're done. Now this is how the finished product of the ice cream sundae would look like. First, you will need to cut out two circles, sauce, whipped cream, a circle for the cherry, and a stem that goes with the cherry. Then, you will glue your sundae together on a piece of construction paper as a background. First, you will apply some glue and stick your first circle onto the construction paper. Then, you will add more glue onto the second piece of circle you have cut out and attach it onto the first circle. Like so. Then, you will take your sauce and put it on your first circle. Like this. Then, you will apply some more glue onto your whipped cream. And then, put it on top of your sauce. just like this. Then, you are going to take the circle you had cut out for your cherry and apply some more glue on it and put it on top of your whipped cream. Then, you will take your tiny little stem that you had cut out and put some glue on it and apply it on top of your cherry. If you have wax paper, you will fold a piece of wax paper in half and cut out a cup. Since I do not have wax paper, I will be using a pen to draw out my cup. And there you have it, a ice cream sundae. Now that you are all finished making your ice cream sandwiches and ice cream sundaes, you may now hang them up on your windows so that everyone can see your lovely art. Later, go on a walk with your family and see if you can find any other ice cream crafts in your neighborhood's windows. Feel free to take pictures of your walk and your art and post them on Facebook or Instagram and tag hashtag DocsAdayStar so we can see all your lovely art all around your neighborhood. I hope you had fun making the summer craft with me. Catch you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining us for week one of camp. It's so great having you with us. Have a great weekend and remember to show kindness so that you can bear fruit.